you so much for joining me again, Gino Gambino, on Five Shots with Bullet Club. We have had some great moments already in Five Shot. We've spoken to Jay White, Tama Tonga, Tox Fale. We've had big, big stars of the Bullet Club to join us. But today, it's a big moment for me. My best friend, my BFF, finally took the time to come and see me. Kenta, thank you so much for joining us. What's up? How are you? I'm good. So, just so you all know. the fans know, you know who I am, yeah. This is you, you. I'm your best friend. Yeah. 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 BFF. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Look, uh, the reason why I wanted to have you on this week is because this week was your one year anniversary of your first appearance in a New Japan ring at Dominion. It's a big moment. It, it was massive. Can you just yeah. quickly tell us a little bit about your 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 time at Dominion last year? Oh yeah, it was uh, you know unforgettable moment, and uh, you know that was the first appearance in Japan. And then actually, I left after I'm left the Japan. So Japanese wrestling business has changed. You know, some people don't know who I am and also that some guys know who I am but, but uh, you know that was my first appearance so it's kind of nervous you know and uh, but uh, yeah people uh, huge pop and uh, welcoming and uh, I'm so, I'm so excited it's, I know, I, I, you, you, it's amazing for me to hear you say that you think a lot of people don't know you who you are I grew up watching you you were a big influence to a lot of people I know. Uh, I don't know if you hear much of the English commentary, but I always say that you should be on the Mount Rushmore of Japanese wrestling. I think you are probably one of the biggest stars to come out of Japanese wrestling in the last 20 years. Thank you. <laughs> so should, yeah, I think, but, I think uh, it should, yeah. Last four years, five years, so Japanese wrestling business has changed, you know, and new 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 stars coming up, and uh, so yeah. But uh, I'm here, so if we to make if we to make Mount Rushmore of Japanese wrestling, I think uh, Kenta Kobashi san, Kenta san, yeah. Gino san. Maybe, I can't maybe. agree with that. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you've come back with such a huge impact. You are now part of one of the largest wrestling factions, the most popular wrestling factions in a very long time. And we've seen the fans turn on you, but you seem to enjoy it. When I sit there and I watch you and I hear the boos ring out throughout the stadium, you like it. You enjoy them booing you. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, I joined, after I joined uh, the Ballet Club, I really enjoyed uh, every single moment, you know. So, uh, yeah. So let's so let's get your top five moments. The top five moments that you've enjoyed the crowd booing you the most. Hmm. Actually, the, my my big first one is uh, you know. Actually, the Budokan, you know which is I joined the bar club. Yeah. At that moment, you know, uh, at the night, you know, when Jay entrance, I go out yeah. with Jay and then people booed me. Yeah. I take a uh, gold trip to Ishii. Yeah. And the people booed me. And then after, after, right after match, and then I entrance with uh, Jay and the people booed me a lot. That was so good. I it's it's like funny. It. I think I think it's one of the biggest moments, uh, maybe in the last few years for Bullet Club was having someone like Kenta come into Bullet Club. So yeah, a huge moment and and such a such interesting to be a part of as well. So that's 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 your number five. What's about number four? What's the number four moment that you enjoy the most of the crowd booing you? Actually, the you know uh, after. Uh, that was the first big match for me after I joined the Bart Club uh, against uh, uh, Ibushi in the Kagoshima. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that night is the same. So actually, the Kagoshima is uh, uh, 
his hometown. Yes. And the most of people, 90% or 95% and more, the people cheer for Ibushi. And so many people booed me or talking, you know. Yeah. But I, I really enjoyed that much. Yeah, I, I don't care what what people talking to me. I don't yeah, care. I I think I think you're co- so confident in who you are as a wrestler that you don't care. You're there to do your job, and doesn't matter who stands in your way. But I was there that yeah. night in Kagoshima, and it, I, it was a very enjoyable match. One of my favorites uh, of that whole of that whole series, that whole tour. So, so I did I did enjoy the booze from that crowd. It was good. So so we had number five, we had uh, in the Budokan. When you joined Bullet Club, you came out with Jay, with Jay White. Then number four, we're in Kagoshima with Ibushi San, and you're out there and you, you're getting booed in your first big match. What's the number three moment for Kenta? Hmm. I think, uh, you know, my feud with uh, Ishii or Goto, you know, either, either set. Most of the time, so we we build we build to the you know title shot and and uh, not not just only Tokyo and uh, all all in Japan. So people booed me, uh, people hate me, you know. So and then I talk in uh, Ishi, I talk in Goto, you know, and. I was uh, really enjoy that, that that tour. So a, a lot of people were asking questions online on Twitter about your story you were telling after your matches. You had a bit of a story going when you would do post match comments. You were telling a bit of <laughs> yeah. a story. What what was what was going on there? What was that all about? I don't know. Actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, for me, I don't know why that was. That was how happened, or I just uh, I just I, w- I want to make fun of uh, uh, Ishi or Goto, you know. So that was happened. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I liked it. I, I, a lot of people were intrigued you, when you walked out with Shibata that first time, that first appearance one year ago at Dominion. There was a lot of hype, a lot of excitement for the return of Kenta to Japan. So why Bullet Club? What I mean, I know why Bullet Club, but let the people know why Bullet Club. Oh man! Uh, so you know, uh, during during G One, so I actually I couldn't find the way how I prove how I show who I am. You know, I mean. Uh, uh, it passed, you know, five years, four years after I left Japan. So the wrestling business has changed. Also, my body has get five years old, you know. Yeah. So that means during five years, I got uh, injured. Uh, you know, not the same as uh, five years ago. So, and then I feel like... Uh, Oh, oh man, I need to change something. You know, I feel yeah. like during G1, oh, I, I need to change something, or, or or I want to enjoy the wrestling more. And then uh, yeah. you know, the Tama gave me the opportunity to 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 find a way. You know, uh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and actually, now I'm really comfortable, and uh, I like I say, I enjoy the every single moment. So you know. I'm, I'm so, so good. Yeah, and, and what a perfect fit you are for the Bullet Club. So, give me your number two moment. What was the number two moment when you're standing there in the New Japan ring? What is your number two moment of the crowd booing you? Oh, actually, the you know uh, last big match, then you know, uh, Osaka in February. February mm-hmm. 9th, 9th or Osaka uh, against Naito. Yeah. 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 It's, it was a, a, a big match and 
an unexpected one. And unfortunately, you didn't walk away with the win that night. But obviously, that's not going to stop your plans for the future. Yeah, so, and uh, that match was, uh, you know, it's really good. And uh, I mean, uh, you know, like I say, after I joined, the, right after joining the Bart Club, I entered with the with Bart Club in the Budokan, yeah. and then yeah, six months later, I entered with my Bart Club. You know, so that was so cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's good. So, so besides Gino, besides me, who's your favorite Bullet Club member, or is it just me? Besides you? Yeah, besides Gino, it's hard to think. I know. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But okay. I, I, re- but I, I respect everyone. You know, uh, I really enjoy the work with them uh, but uh you know my favorite is uh uh Jadosan. yeah J- Jadosan, I, I like to yeah yeah, yeah. But it, it's it's interesting you said something before you said that maybe a lot of people don't remember you as part of japan wrestling because you were away for five years so it was a bit of a shock what happened at the tokyo dome and i'm guessing that's your number one moment am i right Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best friends, we think alike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, BFF. <laughs> yeah. So that, so that's your number one moment. Would you say would you say of all your wrestling career, standing in the Tokyo Dome after the main event, sitting on top of Naito after he just won both bouts, would you say that's one of your biggest moments? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That was uh, you know, three How many people? Thirty thousand. About forty thousand on that night. Forty thousand, yeah. Almost everyone booed me yeah. or or t- trying to like a almost trying to kill me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that I, th- was, I think that I was, was the good. only one clapping. <laughs> yeah, I was standing and up and true. clapping. <laughs> <laughs> a few, a few people like that, but yeah. The most of the people. Uh, to boot me or to throw me a trash, you know. Uh, yeah. That was that was good. Yeah. Because because I I've I've watched your career for a very long time. I know all the gold that you've held, not only in Japan but in the states as well. And to me, it wasn't a shock that you came out. But how much thought did you give to it? Did you think about it a lot before you did it, or was it just the moment you saw the moment you thought this is my time? Uh, in the Tokyo Dome? What, what are you Yeah, about? Tokyo Dome. Yeah, Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Mm, you know, like I say, you know, uh, when my first appearance in, in New Japan, so some people don't know who I am. Uh, and also, not some, so many of the people who don't know. Him. And after, you know, uh, until the Tokyo Dome, maybe uh, half a year, six months, maybe. And then I prove that, that the who I am and uh, what I can do or what I want to do. So, you know, uh, so that moment is like, uh, you know, exact proof. I prove that the little bit but the, that was the biggest moment in my in my uh, New Japan career, you know. Uh, yeah. And then this is exactly what what I want to do. You know? Yeah, and I think I think that's something that uh, the fans that have known you for a long time believe that you just kind of do whatever you want to do. But I, I have a personal question, if I can ask, and I've lost asked a couple. Will you ever wear the brown and yellow trunks with the brown kick pads ever again? Because that was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, not not just you. Uh, many many people uh, ask me like that, but yeah, I don't know. Never say never. So you know, in the future, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. If not, I'll wear it. That's okay. If you bring it to me, I'll wear it at commentary for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, no. 
that's not okay. Well, yeah, hey, I'll fit. I can fit. Well, <laughs> Kenta san, thank you so much for joining us and telling thank us you. your five top moments of the crowd booing you. It's been a pleasure to watch you in a New Japan ring, and I can only imagine a long future with a lot of gold coming up. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I miss you, Gino. Thank you. I miss you. Yeah, see, now everyone can hear that. He said it. He misses me. Give me two sweet <laughs> Kenta san. Thank you. Oh, that... Thank you, Kenta san. Mm. Thank you so much.